disclaimer I'll, I'll give you guys this at the beginning uh, sleepy waves brought up uh, stocks the only company that family is long on uh, heavy is CFVI which is uh, a rumble this company right here rumble okay there they got approved for securities exchange they approved them to do the merger uh, with CFBI because I was a shell sort of company holding uh, whatever they're called and uh, they did discussion they had the funds so that's who who they're going with okay and rumble actually has a two billion dollar lawsuit against Google and uh, a judge recently in last week or a couple of weeks ago or whatever it was uh, stated that that lawsuit is uh, can go ahead uh, so they're gonna go uh, that lawsuit is going to go trial or whatever they're gonna do uh, so maybe settle out of court right and the odds are Google will settle out of court with rumble and that will be a huge injection of funds into rumble uh, we'll see where that goes this is all speculation high risk high risk with family that's the only stock the family is long on okay CFVI rumble okay it's not RMBL sleepy waves it's CFVI uh, CFVI okay that should be the symbol anyway but look into it before you do anything and this is not 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 financial advice not financial advice and on that note family has puts I've been mentioning this for a while now uh, family is riding puts okay we're in and out sometimes fast sometimes riding puts all the way down right now family is holding puts on um, I believe five stocks okay uh, puts on Costco puts on lululemon puts on Netflix puts on uh, Toronto Dominion Bank and puts on Air Canada okay uh, those are the ones I can remember again this is not 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 financial advice and we'll see where that goes there might be bounces uh, but I think the overall trend is bam down um, however things might switch change up extremely fast right personally I believe uh, there might be a few days or a few weeks of major pressure on the markets and then at some point I think there might be some geo geopolitical events taking place where you might see the North American markets or spe specifically the American markets really rise up with either hyperinflation coming kicking in, World War Three kicking off in Europe, World War Three kicking off in the Middle East or the Caucasus uh, or Asia, it's a tender box out there right now. So be careful, gang. Be careful, gang. Aside from that, uh, let's talk about what you guys want to talk about. Lots of things to talk about. Okay.